I guess it, I started seriously preparing for my national competition probably a year before the pageant. Like I had it in my mind two years prior to it, but I started actually like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. How do I get there? How do I become Miss Indonesia a year before? So that's when I started training uh, at a pageant training uh, place, which is uh, yeah, I had a trainer in Indonesia, which taught me how to walk, taught me how to talk and everything. Well, pageant questions, basically. And I guess the biggest preparation that I had to prepare for my national pageant is just how could a young girl enter the competition without being bombarded mentally? Because it's a lot for someone as young as me to go into a pageant being sort of judged by not just your looks, but everything, what you bring to the table, what you've done in your life. So that was a big, that was a big jump for me. So I guess the thing that I learned the most was, you know, to let go of my insecurities before entering this pageant and actually like trying to accept my flaws and really love the person I am because, yeah. you know, being unique and your true self was something that kept me strong throughout both pageants because I know that a lot of people throughout any journey you come across, they'll try to change you as a person. Uh, Miss Indonesia should be or what they think a Miss Universe should be. So trying to step away from those people and just like listening to yourself and say, these are my positives. These are my strengths. I'm going to use that in this competition, despite what people tell me to, like to change. Forget about that and just focus on what I what needs to get done. So yeah, probably a year. What about you? I, you know, I love that you, when I asked you, how did you train? How did you get yourself there? You didn't speak, you didn't speak a lot about looks. Like you didn't speak a lot about training to walk. You didn't speak a lot about putting together your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. you, you spoke a lot about mm -hmm. your emotions and your yeah. intellect and your mental health. And I feel like those are the most important things if you're coming into the mm -hmm. competition. Fashion can be learned. Walking exactly. can be learned. But who you are on the inside is all up to you. Your story is all up to you. Your intellect, what you bring to the table, those are things that can never be taught to you by another person. Do you know what I mean? It's you. It's how you were yeah. born. It's how you conduct yourself. And those are important aspects in life and not just the physical things that we think are quite obvious. Because I feel like people like stressing themselves about those things. You know, am I going to have the most perfect walk when, when it comes to the end and people are talking about impactful people in society and in life, nobody is going to talk about how you walked on the Miss Universe stage the best way that you possibly could. could. Yeah. It's about your journey as a Miss Universe, as a Poochie. Yeah. What did you do? It's about what you say when you open your mouth to people. It's about the impact that you leave you know, in people's hearts. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like people shouldn't really concern themselves that much. I mean, they should. They should concern themselves about how they look and how they walk because it's all part of, you know, the competition. But it's not all that is. Because yeah. what I usually tell people is it starts at your interview room. That is like the biggest chunk of, that's where you first win half of the battle. Mm -hmm. Half of the journey is worn through that room when you walk in to those judges and you speak to them and they get a sense of who you are and you, you give your story and your purpose. That's, that's the first step. Walking in and looking great, it kind of comes second after you've already made a first impression. Do you know what I mean? Wow, what could be the hardest thing? I guess it's just probably it would probably have to do with mentally, like being keep being yourself and still be able to be yourself whilst being in the competition. Because for yeah. me, it was such a big thing to enter a competition with so many beautiful and successful, smart, intelligent ladies. Like I've never had the experience where I entered a room and there was 89 other contestants, 89 yeah. other women that were beyond, beautiful. yes, smart. beyond beautiful <laughs> in every way in every way and that was like whoa that was just like a complete new experience for me mm -hmm. but um that was definitely the biggest thing i had to overcome is just like not letting myself be insecure of what i'm bringing to the table and just still okay this is me there might be other girls there that have amazing careers and might be doctors lawyers or have done so many things in their lives but you know you've done amazing things too in your yeah, life and even though you're young you 
have to believe what you bring to the table. You have to know the reason why you're doing this and why you started your pageant journey. So that was definitely the hardest thing. A challenge. <laughs> I love that you were honest about yeah. that because it's true. You get there and you meet all these other incredible women and you're just like, oh my God, should I even be here? Like, do I, I know. deserve to be here? Do I belong I know. here? You know, you start getting so much doubts about yourself and, and, and mm -hmm. who you are and what you stand for. And so I think that mm -hmm. is always the biggest challenge to block out the noise. And sometimes the noise doesn't even come from people. It comes from yourself as well. Because I think at times we are our biggest um, we are our biggest problems, our biggest critics, yeah, yeah, our biggest computer. Yeah. yeah, and so it is such a mental game. Like you have to be strong here the whole time mm -hmm. and know that it doesn't matter what other people are offering. You also are offering things that are amazing. And it's always so good to remember that there's only one Freddie. There's only one Zozi. Nobody mm -hmm. there. That's the, that's the one advantage you have over everyone. Nobody is you. You are you. That's one yeah. standard thing that sets you apart. And so I think that's what we always have to remember in everything that we do, whether we're going to a job interview, um, whether we're building relationships and friendships. It's something that we should always remember that you are special. Literally, when you were made and created, you were made differently to serve a different purpose than anyone else in the world. And so when people start to try and, and like bring you down and bring that noise in your head, always remember that there's nobody else like you. Nobody can do the things that you do ever, 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 you know? So yeah, I think that's an important one. That sounds so amazing. And, and what, how old are you again? Please remind us. I'm 20. <laughs> 20, doing all of these things for 20, that is, you know, that's so incredible. And it's just testament mm -hmm. to the kind of caliber of women, you know, that come through uh, to these competitions to represent their countries. You know, we stand for so much more. We stand for so much more than people think. You know, it's, it's more than just the surface. It goes in, you know, beyond. It's an intellect mm -hmm. thing. It's a heart thing. And mm -hmm. so I'm so proud of you. You oh, are doing incredible things, not only for yourself, but for your country. And I think that's fantastic. Okay. So I'm going to take two more questions, I think. And then, <laughs> and then we probably have to depart, which makes me sad. <laughs> I know, because uh, it's been a while since we talked as well. Uh, no, Especially myself. during the interview, because, you know, the judges, they're not asking you about off topics, you know, they're not asking you about, no. uh, I mean, of course, there'll be some random questions thrown in about world issues or something, but they're, they it's mainly ask about, about you, because they want to know, you know, Nobody's why is this girl joining this universe? They want to know why, you, what makes you the next Miss Universe, basically. Literally, no one's going to ask you who was the first man to walk on planet Earth. Nobody's going to ask you who is like the 1,000th president of, no, it's about you. Yeah. It's about, because yeah. it's an interview for a job. I think that's what people yeah. think Miss Universe is a job and that is an interview and they want to know if you're the best fit for the organization. And so it's always going to be about you and your opinions of the world. Obviously, you have to keep in mind about current issues that are happening in the mm -hmm. world. You have to be knowledgeable yeah. about your surroundings because... Mm -hmm. When you win, you are going to be having this conversation.